Senator Abaribe reacts to the release of Anamde Kano by federal government. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we will post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The former Senate Minority Leader, Senator Ayenaya Abaribe, has expressed optimism that a new administration under President Bola Tsunambu could offer a solution to the saga surrounding Namde Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. In a recent statement, Abaribe urged the Tinubu led government to consider Kano's release in the spirit of national unity and cohesion. The IPOB leader has been detained since his extradition from Kenya in 2021, facing challenges of terrorism, which the Court of Appeal later dismissed. However, the Supreme Court overturned this decision. Yet, Abaribe said Igbo leaders, including himself, would continue to pursue a political solution to secure Kano's freedom. He said, and I quote, I am of the firm belief that this current federal government will do something very fast to release Anamde Kano, if for no other reason but for national cohesion and unity of the country. As leaders, we shall continue to press for a solution that will be the best in this circumstance. Well, yes, yeah, I understand why he's trying to say this, Shah. If you do not know Aina Abari, I don't think there is anyone who doesn't know. Aina Abari are one of the senators of the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, he's one of the senators of his people. He's from the southeastern region. He always speaks for his people. Unlike other people, unlike other, I think Aina is one of, I am, Aina Abari is one of a kind. He speaks out for his people. He doesn't, as in, he doesn't come out. And the thing is, he goes out speaking about his people logically. Knowing the Boski way of speaking, no, you understand. He uses what they call, he makes use of his, um, how do they call it? He comes out and, you know, logically and wisely speaks about things. You know, he takes initiative. He does not use his in the Boski way or in the Boski manner. Okay, Mr. Baribe, okay, thank you so much. God bless you, Mr. Senator. Not the shameless governor in the South. So, like I said, he's one, he's one of a kind because he's one of those who comes out to speak about things bothering his people. He doesn't keep quiet about it. And he goes about speaking about them in a very logical manner. Hmm, I don't really know what to say here. Well, Martin the kind of does not want to be released. He's enjoying the fame that comes his way. Are you really serious? You know, I've heard people say this and I'm like, when I follow this man, see that dear. Why not go just they believe this kind of why people go just get this kind of a very what mentality? You go go say visit this one, the man tell you say no won't. You know, I the thing is I've heard people spend they're like, eh, the man have already said it before. That even if it is a you know, even if no matter what happened, that he won't he, he wants as a release, you know, I'm like that they have different different stories and different I'm like, where do the people get this notion from? Have you people gone to see him? Did he tell people that, oh, this is what he wants and this is what he does not want? Did he, people, did he tell people that, oh, I want to be released or I do not want to be released though? No. Then what is, what is the meaning of all this plenty, plenty talk when I talk? Okay, now the Kano has already exposed the secret of the Islamization agenda in Nigeria. And believe me, the, Niger the agenda will never materialize. Ah. Why are they saying A and you are saying B? If Tenebo has a personal agenda to bring peace, security, and progress to Nigeria, he will release Kano and with no condition. But if he wants to follow Fulani's fear in Nigeria, he may not release but even allow the court to jail Kano to appease them. So, look at the watch waiting go up on a bit. Time will reveal everything, Sha. Time is the best, you know, is the best, uh, what's it called, medicine. It will release everything. In due time, everything will be, everything will be what's it called, will be known. All the courts have freed Nam the Kano. Why is Tunibu still holding him? The courts have told the government that IPOB is not a terrorist organization and that Nam the Kano has been wrongfully detained. And so, okay, so on what ground are they still holding him? Or is it to show how much Buhari and Tunibu hate this young man? I do not understand. Tomorrow now you will hear Tunibu talk about love and unity in Nigeria. Is he, pretend, is he pretending to love the evils? My dear, we don't know yet, but we are going to know quite we're going to know pretty sure soon 
What has an Amde Kano done to deserve all this wicked treatment from the federal government when the blood sucking Boko Haram and their sponsors are enjoying and getting key and political appointments? So, truly, 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 we have to. Now, this is what I've spoken and said about this particular issue. If after, okay, the first one, I think we have. Um, this issue they had, this, this 15 December issue where they, you know, they talked about or they came together and spoke about Kano. If after this one, the next one and another one happens, I mean, after the trial and they still do not release him, then believe you me, that's what I'm saying, time will actually release. I mean, review if they actually have the intention of releasing him. But if after maybe two or three trials and they're still dragging this issue, believe you me, I'll believe that uh, maybe they won't leave that man jail. You understand maybe they want to leave him there for a very long time or for life because i don't understand the, the thing is more, even the nigerian court like i said the nigerian court with the clear on that it's they are the ones that actually said this man make on a release and he's acquitted and free from all charges so i don't see now understand why they're still you know keeping him on hold if you ask me i don't still understand Immediate action impressiveness should be highly notified than overstatement of invalidity reaction. What a flaunt again of a so-called evil politician that has refuted himself to look and sound like invalidated substance of inferior ability to defend their race of people. What a mess of political aggrandizement. Well, God, it's not this the plenty, plenty grammar way they speak is not going to help matters. Like I said, he's being very diplomatic. <laughs> diplomatic is the word I've been trying to use. He had, he's being very diplomatic about this. Tonibu just came in, right? You understand? So, you cannot say for now. Let us actually give him, like I said, time is going to reveal truly if he is actually going to... How am I going to say it now? Time is going to reveal truly if he is actually going to... If he's actually going to release him. That's not the canon. If he's going to be released. And then we will now see, okay, the man just won't take in time. But if he's not released, we will see if I will, it doesn't as him. If he also he has the intention to keep him, we are still going to find out. Time will definitely tell. This man, Nam Dekano, will roast in prison. He thought treason is freedom in Igbo language. Talk. And the so-called Supreme Court is actually a fascist or totalitarian court. Our so-called Supreme Court is an eye service court. It is either that the court has lost touch with the definition of terrorism or that a peace court is only playing to the gallery. Even though I'm not an Igbo man, car we should be acquitted unconditionally, just like Sunday Igbo. Do you understand? All the people will be said they arrest in line with and will commit almost the same thing. They have been released. Whom the APS court refused to describe as a terrorist. So why, you know, why is a crime not a crime in some places in Nigeria? Why? All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.